So I want to do a little follow up on uh, the 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 dust up with uh, Mr. Alex Jones and uh, Infowars. I think what I didn't think much of it when it when I heard it uh, initially, but now I think a lot of it. And I was uh, I just want to correct the record as well because he not only got knocked off uh, YouTube, but he also got knocked knocked off Facebook, Spotify, which is kind of irrelevant these days. Who gives a shit about? I've never, I've never even visited Spotify, so I don't even know what it is. And uh, iTunes, fucking Apple, who cares about? <laughs> it's YouTube, right? He got knocked down. He, they, they deleted his count, account on YouTube, and to a lesser degree, Facebook, which is you know significant audience, right? So, but but here's what I want to say about it, right? Social media. I think that um, having thought about it as I was on my walk today, I think that. Um, Alex Jones, for whatever reason, uh, is is in a position where he could he could in fact help us all. <laughs> I don't know if he's interested in that, but he could actually help us all. It, it occurs to me that uh, that he he probably has perhaps one of the most important First Amendment cases in modern history since the uh, the decision of the People vs. Larry Flint. Right. Right. That's, you know, if you know who Larry, if you don't remember Larry Flint, Larry Flint was someone who was prosecuted by um, he was censored by the by the by the by the establishment uh, for his lewd and and ridiculous, almost pornographic and offensive commentary. And he was able to uh, prove that it was just free speech. So I think that. I think that Alex Jones is in a unique position because here's the argument, right? Here's the argument across social media right now. Smart people that I like are saying this. They're saying, well, corporate, well, it's a, you know, uh, YouTube is owned by Google, so it's a private company and they can do whatever the hell they want. No, no, they can't do whatever they want because digital media, the social media that we use on Facebook, uh, wherever, wherever there's a social media board, you could you're you're welcome to create a board and create a place where people can talk and 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 make a lot of money in fucking advertising and selling that but you can't censor content that is protected if you create a medium that is the new you know uh, um, public square right in in the old days for example like when when first amendment occurred right you would have when when it occurred, I'm talking bullshit right now. When when the First Amendment was 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 exercised, the way it was exercised is that people would walk out into the public square and they would proclaim a statement and proclaim their opinion and say, "I believe this," and "fuck you," and this one and that one and the other one, and no one could do anything about it because it was in the public square and and free speech is guaranteed. Right? Guess what? We don't walk out into the the, 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 the the town square. We go on social media and we fuck you and this guy, that one, and and you know, and, and you could say whatever you want, right? That's that's free speech. Right. So I think that I think it's important because people are I think we're at a at a tipping point where people are starting to understand that point that social media is the new open square the new the new public square right and that free speech there is guaranteed by the first amendment it has to be it has to be so i think that if alex jones <laughs> it's such a shame that it has to be such a you know a, a buffoon full uh, i i take that back he's not a buffoon he's just he's a strongly opinionated character who you know, he goes way out there. He, he's an artist. He goes, all right, that's what he is. He's an artist. He's not a buffoon. He's an artist. And he goes all the way out there with his ideas. And he makes you think about stuff. He doesn't make me think about anything. He, he makes me think about turning the channel and finding someone else. But a lot of people, he does. He stimulates that, that, that part of the brain that says, yeah, maybe. Now, as far as his, you know, the other defense, uh, in his defense, right, <laughs> All right, I'll be I'll I'll be his attorney for a second. The other defense is that the other the the other uh, uh, attack is that 
because he spoke about what Sandy Hook and and uh, uh, Parkland shooting as possibly being uh, false flags that the the that the the actual narrative that the establishment you know FBI CIA gave law enforcement gave to the people doesn't match the the facts the story doesn't match the 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 uh, the, the things that happened on the ground just like the Seth Rich case now you're going to tell me because he's challenging that that we should suddenly shut the fuck up and not and not be able to speak about it and that's your reason why you you're justifying cutting Alex Jones off because he spoke about a, a potential you know potential false flags that's ridiculous that's exactly what you're supposed to be talking about is it is it does it it's very revealing too because if 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 why he's being censored is not because of his foul mouth and his his crude politics right but but it's because he spoke about the potential of of deep 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 state corruption at the level that right up there with the assassination of Kennedy right where the FBI creates these false illusions of of uh, you know false flags right where where what 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 they're saying happened didn't really happen it's used to like in in, in Vegas there's the shooting in Vegas there's also ample evidence to suggest that the way it happened right what happened is not the way they said it happened right so why is that why why is law enforcement holding back on the facts with Seth Rich there's no evidence that a murder in DC even occurred at that time in that place but we're like you know so am I going to be censored for talking about this this it should be interesting because if do what what do I believe about the 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 Parkland shootings I don't I don't believe that I don't necessarily believe in character actors. I, I think that there are people that come out that that are that that are on the side like the DNC does, you know, in fact hire you know, crisis control actors. But I think that most of the the young people that come out or the the, the families and the victims are part of the dupe. They're they're duped just like everyone else but they're duped into a uh, they're duped in a different way so I, I think that look if he's if 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 Alex Jones is censored because of his talking about the potential for for those events to have been false flags that's a, that's another tr that's a tremendous tragedy right because mainstream media won't suggest it when the evidence suggests that yeah it's possible why don't we look at this? Why don't we talk about this? It's not a conspiracy theory. It's it's facts that don't match the incident, right? That's not conspiracy theory. That's in a court of law. Those that's presenting evidence in defense of a of of a, of a crime, right? So Alex Jones is very important in this. It could be the it could be the biggest thing since the People versus Larry Flint. Now, here's the other thing, right? And I, I, I was talking about this to Al Trust, uh, Trust in the down below, right? Is that if it is, it could only, it could be something else too. And we need to watch to see if Alex Jones uh, does this, right? In it, With oligarchs in Wall Street, there's something called the hostile takeover, right? So what is a hostile takeover, right? They don't, they don't come to you and say, hey, by the way, we'd like to, we like to own your company. No, it's a fucking hostile takeover. What they do is they take you down, right? They buy up your stock. They disrupt your company, right? It's a hostile takeover, right? And then when you, when you break, they got him by the balls, right? Because they, they deleted his account. <laughs> He's got nowhere to go, right? right? Is it making him more popular? Yeah, yeah, there's an argument to be made there that the whole thing of taking him down makes him... People like me are talking about it. There's people talking about it now, right? But but that fades. If they take his... Is, if they deleted his account, that's very, very painful, right? That's very hard to overcome, right? So the, the, the potential that this is a hostile takeover, and Alex Jones may not even know it, but they're knocking him down to then build him up, to resurrect him, perhaps... 
you know, it, the equivalent of a Fox News, something, some sort of media guy is going to come to him and say, hey, by the way, Google, you know, Google Transplant. Somebody with a lot of money comes up to him and says, hey, let's do the show. We'll do it on cable. Fuck YouTube. And we'll, we'll, take, our, we'll take our ball and we'll go that way. Right. That's a that is a possibility. But with that comes conditions. And will Alex Jones take those conditions? You know, shh, don't talk about the oligarchy. Don't talk. We need advertising money. Shh, no, you don't have to sell your vitamins anymore. But don't talk about the fucking oligarchy. <laughs> don't talk about the don't talk about the filthy rich. We don't need that shit. So that's all I want to say. I think I got I think I got everything else I want to say out there. So keep the discussion going. Let's figure this one out. I think that. Um, uh, you know, it's it's a um, that's all. I'll leave it there. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, uh, reporter here on YouTube. I'm also a candidate for the United States Senate, if you haven't heard. And uh, kindly subscribe down below and uh, keep in touch. Peace.